This video contains accident scene footage which may upset some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. The ATSB has issued a safety advisory notice encouraging operators of single-engine PT-6A powered aircraft to consider potential actions in the event of an uncommanded engine acceleration to document these actions and train pilots to ensure operations are performed correctly and consistently. This advice has been issued along with the final report into the engine malfunction and runway overrun involving a Cessna 208B Grand Caravan at Lizard Island on the 8th of January 2024. The aircraft operated by East Air departed Lizard Island Airport, Queensland shortly before 7am on a flight to Cairns with the pilot and nine passengers on board. During the climb at about 3,400 feet, the pilot observed the aircraft's speed and thrust increase uncommanded and numerous engine parameters were indicating beyond their limits or were no longer indicating at all. The pilot initiated a left turn with the purpose of returning to Lizard Island and broadcast a pan-pan call on the area frequency advising their intentions. Despite the pilot trying to arrest the aircraft due to the high power setting, it continued to climb and accelerate over the next two minutes, reaching 4,000 feet and 166 knots. With the island's resort and maintenance facilities under the approach end of the runway and conscious of the potential consequences of an undershoot, the pilot elected to conduct a power-on approach. However, due to the high power and consequential high speed, the aircraft touched down long on the downsloping runway, overshot the end and flipped over. All occupants received minor injuries and the aircraft was substantially damaged. The ATSB's examination determined that the uncommanded engine acceleration was very likely associated with a malfunction of the fuel control unit, or FCU, of the Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6A engine. This resulted in the engine accelerating and exceeding numerous engine limitations, including the gas generator speed and interstage turbine temperature. The investigation found there was no documented procedure or troubleshooting information in the aircraft flight manual and there was limited industry awareness of this type of event and how it should be managed in flight. While not as immediately dire as an engine failure or rollback to idle event, an uncommanded engine acceleration is alarming and requires prompt action to control the aircraft and prevent overstress of the engine and airframe. Many PT-6A small series powered aircraft have a procedure for when the engine malfunctions and rolls back to idle. Some single engine aircraft also have a manual override or emergency power lever to handle this situation and pilots are trained in its use. However, there was no procedure for when an engine experienced an uncommanded engine acceleration or an inability to reduce power. These have historically occurred more often than roll back to idle or for any other consequence of an FCU malfunction. Procedures are widely recognised as the basis for safe aircraft operations. Without a formal procedure, pilots are required to innovate in a novel and highly stressful situation based on their experience, skills and knowledge. Awareness and training for an uncommanded engine acceleration will prepare pilots and should result in a better outcome. The actions required to respond to an uncommanded engine acceleration will vary to engine failure scenarios and depend on a number of factors including the phase of flight, surrounding terrain and the weather conditions. Therefore there is no single solution and we advise operators and pilots to consider appropriate responses to a range of situations. You can read the safety advisory notice and the final report by searching AO-2024-001 on our website from the link in the description or via the link in our bio.